This is Mr. Spone, and I have a woodpecker. <laughs> uh, today we're going to talk about resonance structures and what they are in chemistry, how to draw them properly. Uh, so the first thing we're going to start with the resonance structures for the nitrate ion. And recall that nitrogen is NO3 with a minus one charge. So let's draw the Lewis structure for this. We have to draw the Lewis structure first. Um, nitrogen has how many valence electrons? Five. Each oxygen has six. Six times three is 18. And of course it gained an additional electron. The negative charge means it gained an electron. So five, uh, it's gonna be another one plus one. And we're gonna end up with 24 valence electrons. So we need to draw a Lewis structure with 24 valence electrons. Um, nitrogen is going to go in the middle. Um, we did have some rules. Uh, least electronegative atom in the middle. And then we're going to connect a single bond to all the other atoms. So let's put nitrogen in the middle. And of course we're just going to connect a single bond to three oxygens. And... So now we have our single bond, and we're going to fill in the rest of the electrons. We've used two, four, six electrons. Six of our 24, so we have 18 left. Well, none of these oxygens have an octet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put six ox uh, electrons around each oxygen to essentially make our octets. Each oxygen is going to get six, and we owe two more down here. I didn't forget. And now we've used all 24 of our valence electrons. The problem is nitrogen does not have an octet. And we have to do something to give nitrogen oxygen. Essentially, we have to take two electrons from one of the oxygen atoms and make a double bond. And we could have done this oxygen or this one. We could have used all three. And that's where resonance is going to come into play. Of course, this needs a set of brackets around it, and a minus charge. But the idea with the resonance structure is that we have to draw not only this structure, but you have to draw the other two possible ones. You have to draw the structure where this is the double bond and this is the double bond. So it's a little tedious, but we just have to draw in these structures and we use double-sided arrows to do it. So I'll draw one more. Um, so we'll just draw this as N, put the double bond here, oxygen, oxygen. Essentially you got to do it like this and of course the oxygen here and you would fill in your valence electrons. This is going to be the same exact thing as this but we made the double bond here and we're going to have to do it again and make this one the double bond. So you have to do the same image three times. That's the resonance structure. And this is a cleaner version of it. Nitrogen doesn't have an octet so we have to make the double bond. Those slide down and we end up with a double bond there. And that's a cleaned up version of it. But we have to draw three full diagrams of this. You have to draw all three structures and indicate it with a double sided arrow. Because a nitrate ion is not going to be this one. Why is this one the double bond? Well, it's not. Why is this one? It's going to be a, a, real, a true nitrate ion is going to be a combination of all three of these images. I know it's a little confusing, but we do have to draw a resonance structure for that reason. So anytime you have a double bond that could be in different locations, you have to actually draw that Lewis structure in that form. And we can do the same thing with carbonate. Um, carbonate CO3 2 minus. Once again, our uh, carbon has four valence electrons. Each oxygen has six, so that's going to be 18. And it gained two electrons, so that's going to be plus two. So we again have 24 electrons and it's going to look exactly like nitrate did NO3 minus one had uh, 24 electrons so we have a carbon oxygen oxygen and again we use two four six valence electrons so we have 18 left and I'm going to put my electrons around the oxygen and I'm going to put six around each one and again we're going to have the same problem carbon's not going to have an octet so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pick one of these bonds, one of these pairs of electrons, and cross them off and move them in as a double bond. And of course we need brackets, 2 minus. And the problem is you chose this bond, you have to draw this structure two more times. With the double bond being here, and with the double bond being here. And that's a resonance structure. 
and it would look like that. So resonance is just drawing a double bond in all the places it could actually be in, and you do have to do that when you're drawing uh, Lewis structures for anything that has a double bond that can be moved. I'm not going to tell you it's a resonance structure, you just have to know that when it's like that, you have to put in the brackets and draw the Lewis structure for all three cases. Um, so again, we have sulfur trioxide down here that can be drawn in three different ways. This is SO3. We don't put brackets around it because it is not a polyatomic ion. This is just a molecule. Um, double bond here, double bond here, double bond here with arrows represented. And the actual molecule is not any of the drawn pictures. The actual molecule is a combination of them. And we know this because if we actually do experiments with like x-ray diffraction and things and we measure bond lengths, we kind of get the image that it's not one of them's a double bond and one of them's a, and two of them are single. They're, it's sort of a combination of all of them. And that's why single Lewis structures are inaccurate. So that's how we draw resonance structures. Hopefully that helps. Mr. Stepone.